these homes, planet systems are all built environments, they're all fla fabricated by us. Right. So here we are in 2018, still fabricating obstacles for a huge segment. Of our own population. Yeah, and in fact, even for but ourselves. Tears are not natural. Right. <laughs> not in the natural environment. No, <laughs> no, for sure. So we create that a big part of the disability rights movement that society has created it. Barriers. For These sure. Barriers would not exist if we organized differently. Right. So they're not that true. Yeah. yeah. And it's also, I mean, it's, it's, there's, there's, people have so much trauma around things like if they, um, as we age, we're all aging, right? And and so mm. there's another place where, where, you know, we don't know necessarily whether or not uh, tomorrow or in the next 20 years, we're, whether we're going to be able to live in our homes if they're if they have stairs and if they are, they're they're not adjustable for us to 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 to, to accommodate our changes and our challenges. So, uh, how do we how do we structure our society so that there's more that we can we can think about um, how how we we are. Now I'm blanking on it. Well, it, so that we can transition our own, our own mm. selves. Like we're mm. actually helping ourselves to say, well, what what is the next, what will my future self need? Or might my future self need? And how do I make sure that I'm I'm able to go off and, and, mm. and to, to to not have to leave my house um, because suddenly I can't use the, get to the bathrooms anymore? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, moving around, staying in the home room. Support services, like even stuff like grocery delivery. Right. Um, all that came about through the disability rights movement. Right. And I was benefiting a whole broad segment of the population. Absolutely. And even though I uh, was activated phones. Right. Yeah, that was all brought about by adaptive technology targeting disabled people. Yeah, I, I, uh, I didn't realize that, that uh, I was at a, an accessibility conference in, in D.C. Um, a week, I guess a, a month ago, I guess. Um, and I, I didn't realize that, that the remote control was actually um, something that was designed initially to go off and support people with disabilities. Uh -huh. um, and uh, so that was apparently an, an early technology to try and make it easier for people without, you know, the ability to get up, get up and, and uh, you know, change the channel to be able to change the channel. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, but now it's something that you, you can't buy a fan these days that doesn't have a remote control built into it. Yeah. And it's just something or that's... TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's something that's you know, voice control and, and remote yeah. controls are just something that people are, thr are mm -hmm. throwing into our devices. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. sure you could get a remote control barbecue and, you know, all sorts of other remote yeah. control devices that, you know, just because you can't. <laughs> yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. So, so, the when do you think that the disability rights movement began? Uh, a good question. In Canada. I mean, the modern disability rights movement began in World War II right. or World War One. Well, we were, we were, we came with war veterans. Right, coming back from the world coming wars. Coming back. Yeah. Uh, being injured, high being impairment, but basically young men. And heroes. They were in the prime of their life. Yeah. And um, being expected to either sit at home or Bring self into self, workshop. 
Oops. Right. Which weren't designed to move anyone into King Kong format. They were designed just to keep people occupied. They were designed as day program. Right. So that's where war was about doing to expect it to go. Right. Yeah. Hey, can people start organizing around that? Start forming their own organizations, their own self-directed groups. Right. Which bypassed all that, you know, social workers and whatnot to were putting them into it. Right. And then these groups started, you know, lobbying the government. 